Hello everybody and welcome to our series that takes a look at every single tool in the MyCAD tool suite. Now this collection of over 30 extra supplementary tools to SolidWorks is designed to help you get the most out of this already robust software. The tool that we're going to take a look at today is called the Copy Options tool. So the example that we're given is that you receive a bundle of drawings coming from a partner or a subcontractor that you wish to update all the drawings with your practices. Those practices being your drawing templates and your own document properties. So basically what it's saying, if you have to do 200 of these drawings by hand at 5 minutes on average per document, you're looking at 16 hours of work. No thank you. Luckily we have the copy options tool here, and this makes it possible to copy SolidWorks options of a reference document to one or more separate documents of the same type. You can also replace your drawing templates according to the document format. And then all of those SolidWorks files are easily standardized, helping you get the information you need in that file. So our key features are we're going to select a reference document, this is the document that has the options we want to copy. Then we can select one or more documents of the same type, be it part, drawing, or assembly files. And then the tool will automatically transcribe the options, custom properties, materials, and color, and other configurations, and then paste those options into the new document or documents. And finally, we have the option to replace the drawing template of a group of drawings according to the format of each one. So let's take a look at how the Copy Options tool works. So for the example of the copy options tool, I'm going to use a couple different drawings. The first one here is this wheel carriage assembly, and you can see that I've added a layer. That layer is just copy options, it's red, it has this dotted line with a thickness a little thicker than the format up top. I've also added a custom property, so we'll go ahead and take a look at that. I've added a few different custom properties here. Uh, the very first copy options, this is just a generic one to show you that that one will come through. And then I've added a couple different other custom options that we'll want translated onto a different drawing. So I'll click OK. And we're going to translate those properties onto this drawing here. And before I do that, I just want to show you this is what we're looking at under the layers. You can see we have nothing except for the format, which is default. And then under properties, we have no custom properties. So I'm going to leave these two drawings up and grab our copy options tool. So there's a few different ways that you can get your reference documents and the documents to modify into this tool. I happen to like the active document selection and you can see the wheel carriage is selected. So active document grabs that entire drawing file. And if I keep this tool pinned up and minimize that and select active document again, That'll grab the valve drawing file. But we can also just use windows to drag and drop. So I'm going to drag this axle in here as well. And of course, we have the old fashioned way. We can also add a folder, and you can select it here just like many of the other MyCAD tool selections. You can add an individual file, and you can do that for both the reference document and the documents to modify. If you have subfolders and you want all of the subfolders to be converted as well, you can select that recursive folder selection there. So before we go ahead and convert this, let's take a look at these other two tabs we have here. We have options copy, and this check mark here, coincidentally, allows you to copy specific options. So we want to select that, and then we can select which boxes we want to put checks in. We can copy custom properties, we can copy document options, and if this were a part file, we could select material, part color, and density as well. We also want to copy the layer of drawing document, and you have the option to copy the overall drafting standard if you have one. That can be browsed to here as well. And finally, our last tab, the Drawing Template tab here. This allows us to change the drawing templates. All of this information can be changed. You can browse to any number of different drawing templates. And we can even take a look at the customized formats here and change all of this information here. We can change the unit of measurement, and we can even change the tolerance that we want SOLIDWORKS to recognize when changing that drawing template. So if we're satisfied with those changes, we click Save. However, I'm just going to click Close and not change the drawing templates. But those options are there for you. So back in our File Selection tab, we have the Reference Document. This is where the options and the layers are coming from. And then we have all the documents that we want those options copied to. Now all we do is select OK. And it gives you a list of all the options that will be changed with a warning saying, do you want to continue? Click yes, and then it will go ahead and individually run through all of those document properties. And once it's finished, we'll have the option to take a look at a report. If I click yes, it opens up an HTML file in our web browser. And you can see 100% of our files were successfully treated. 
there are zero errors so we shouldn't have any problems. So now that we have our properties copied let's go ahead and take a look at this file. Under our properties you can see all of these properties copied over and then finally let's take a look at our layers. Here you can see our copy options layer has copied over with the color, the style, and the thickness and that's all set. So we just used the drawing for an example however as I mentioned earlier we can use the copy options tool for both SOLIDWORKS parts and assembly files as well as SOLIDWORKS drawing files so keep that in mind. The copy options tool is a really great tool to help standardize a lot of your output as far as dealing with files that were handed to you from someone who may not even work at your location. So it's a pretty handy tool. I hope this has been helpful. If you do have any questions, however, please feel free to contact us at solidworkssupport at mlc-cad.com, and we'll see you next time.